as you guys know, I created uh, the show for NBC called Great News, sort of based on my relationship with my mother, right. Kathy. And um, uh, Andrea plays Carol, who is a version of Kathy, but not exactly Kathy. <laughs> a better version. A better version. <laughs> What do you think about the fact that I made a show about you? <laughs> I love it, but I I can't even believe it. Yeah. Well, when you were a little girl. Oh no. <laughs> well, she, her and her sister just wrote scripts, little oh, shows, God. and the neighborhood kids and your school friends all were in it. And I used to say, since you were little, you're going to be on Saturday Night Live one day. Well, I, I wasn't. No, but <laughs> close. <laughs> It's a workplace comedy, but at the heart, the, sh uh, the heart of the show, it really, the success of it lives or dies on uh, Briga and Andrea's sure. chemistry. And if they can feel like, you know, and my mom and I are so close, too close, <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> but my mom and I are so close and it's, you know, it's such a special relationship to me and I really wanted to bring that to the show. And it only works because the two of you are so good. And the two Aww. of you are so good together. Like yeah. you are so sweet together and Aww, you have I such, a, you had such a natural chemistry from go that it was so, so nice and easy to write to because it's like a lot of the show is about the annoyance of, oh God, my mother's in my workplace and my mm -hmm. mother's in this, this private sphere of my life. But you know, all of that annoyance needs to be offset by a real love between yeah. the two of you, yeah. and you really feel that in the mm -hmm. show. Andrea we knew about, I oh, remember, yes. because she had been on an episode of 30 Rock, and I knew her from SCTV, and Tina has been such a giant fan of right. yours your whole career, yeah. and um, you're such a, a, a legend to me and to her, and so you were kind of a no-brainer when we were putting together. You didn't have any, uh, you liked her from the beginning, yes. right? You didn't have any other ideas? Nope. No, no. You're no. That's good. Did Kathy well, you actually didn't. cast the show? Kathy cast the show. <laughs> well, very, yeah. con very concerned about it always. Yes, I was. Um, <laughs> are you doing the right, I don't know about this. Uh... <laughs> Briga came in to audition and just was so natural and winning and sweet and yeah. really played, you know, because the character is both a career woman who is, uh, you know, who is thirsty and wants to succeed and this job is everything to her, but she also is a little bit a, her mother's daughter still right. and is very much, you know, kind of uh, in certain ways a little immature and a little bit still figuring it out and becoming a you know, a fully formed person. Great News is a show about, um, about Katie, who uh, is a journalist, and she feels a little bit stuck in her career. She's 30 years old and feels like she should be farther along than she is. And um, her mother, who has never had a big career of her own, she was a stay-at-home mom, uh, decides that she that there's no there's no day better than today. She's going to get a big career for herself, and she uh, gets a job, an internship at her daughter's workplace, which drives her daughter insane. The reason that I'm kept on, even though I'm inept yes, at, at yes, the job, is that John Michael Higgins, who plays the very famous newscaster, is of my generation. He's the, I'm the only person that he will listen to. Right. And so they keep me on, someone that really doesn't know what she's doing, um, because I'm an ally for, uh, I guess, Greg is, yes. is uh, grateful. That yeah, and it's sort of, uh, it's this very sweet relationship that I feel like you don't see on television that much between two old oh, yeah. people, am I allowed to say older people? You already did. <laughs> Sorry, moms. It, about two. Uh, okay. I'm all right. You're okay. People Go ahead. in their 60s who, Keep it together. you know, who for, for Chuck, he kind of feels like he's getting aged out of yeah. his job. And, yeah, I and love that. He doesn't really have anyone to relate to. Mm -hmm. It's all people in their 30s who are uh, at his workplace, and so he really finds an ally in Carol. And um, the two of them, sort of in very different places in their lives, have a lot in common. Katie, trying. It's really a quest to try and find her voice. You yes, know. Yes. Yeah. And so it's like it's it's really great with a with a character that absolutely has one that's unwavering no matter yes. what situation she's in went off and I found that you know 
they care. It's it's very you're very unapologetic, and Katie right. feels very much like she's still in that right. place where she's like, right. is is yeah. this how I feel? Very is judgmental. this how my mother feels? Yeah. It, and yeah, and how do I find myself and my own way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. When you have such a great but um, sometimes over, sometimes overwhelming presence <laughs> that you've grown up with.